Test, test, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. Here we go. Hopefully reconnecting back into the game. Yeah, everyone has been waiting for a really long time now. Yeah. Well, uh, well big thanks for everyone to uh, be coming down here into the, uh, the SM Mall. Watch these games live in the Philippines. But we've got to get ourselves into the game first. Come on, Volvo. <laughs> Give Diatide. Diatide's coming out in two weeks. Yeah, Diatide in two weeks, so. Volvo have answered our prayers. But, but for now, guys, hopefully we'll uh, answer your prayers. And that's get Dreams and Maneski, game number two. We've just got to reconnect back in, though. We've come a, like a long way to get here. Flying all the way from LA, you've flown from Malaysia to Korea, back to here. To rejoin the game. Oh, we're going to remake once more. But. I hope this time it works. <laughs> the 17th time's the charm. That's, that's how the saying goes, I believe. But those of you who don't know, I'm uh, David Gods Parker. Lit Bin Chan, Winter. I'm Lit Bin Chan, Winter. And it's without our pleasure to be here in the Philippines. Uh, one of my favorite events, uh, the GMPGL, was here last year when it was hosted at PGF. This year, on its own, and it's always fun being in the Philippines. It's always more fun in the Philippines. Yeah, and I, I like the food here, especially Mang Inasal. <laughs> always has a, I always have a soft yeah. spot for that. Yeah. That's where Mushi always goes, Mang Inasal. But... It looks like we have loaded in. There we go, guys. It's time. AMD Maneski taking on g &E Dreams. Here we go. We saw this is game number two for those of you just arriving, those of you aren't aware. Dreams did not manage to win game one. They started off well, but Maneski brought it back. And we'll have to see if Maneski can take this to The winner of this match is the winner of your Philippines Championship. They'll be representing the Philippines later this year at the ACG, the Grand Finals held in Singapore. So there's a lot at stake here with this match. Ten seconds and I'll be remaining. looking forward to Dreams bringing this series to a third game. And they did five really, second, five they really need to step up their game from the last game. They didn't play really well and Mineski punished Reserve them by speed pushing all over the map and, take, and taking whatever farm from no. everything they could find. The opponent's jungle, their own jungle Radiant and all the three lanes. Back. and. Dreams fell behind on the goal, and they pick. couldn't recover their deficit from then on. Yeah, I, Dreams had a really good laning stage. They tried their best, I think, in the mid game, but Mineski had too many carries. It was the four carry lineup. 
the Midas Gaming as well. Midas Gaming is just too strong, it looks like. No Midas on the CM, though. Yeah. The poor CM was the lone support, but she still managed to get her Bling Dagger and BKB. Yep. Where it's the era of the Midas. We'll see how many we get this Ten time around. Mineski going to be on the dire side with the first pick, and uh, we'll see Five what they get this time. Remaining. They gave away a Lich last time. Lich is still there if they want to pick it up, but Mineski have Reserve plenty time. of options for them. They've definitely got a lot to prove here you, in this. Uh, in you, this you know what, gods? Lich is not a good Midas hero. No, it's not a good Midas hero. Well, uh, we're going to get ourselves now starting off this draft. Big thanks to everyone who came down. The crowd here is absolutely amazing. The venue is fantastic, and it's all about the teams, all about the players, as uh, we do get ourselves well, <laughs> underway here. Lich King. Radiant team pick. Well, what's... That's hero. <laughs> no mind us on Lich? Yeah, and the, I think the, the Lich King's main weakness is his inability to deal with early push. Hello, hello. Uh, his inability to deal with early early pushes from Ch heroes like Chenna and Chantress. Uh, uh, Pogna is a very good hero to deal with the Lich, the Ward, plus his ability to push early game. Yeah, well, uh, it looks like Dreams want to go for some pushing heroes of their own. They get Pugna and Clockwork, and immediately Vaneski get the Invoker. We saw Joven on the Invoker last game, and we may get another Joven Invoker this time I, around. I miss, I miss the Bimboker, though. Oh, the Bimboker. Well, they're now both of the same team, so they're going to be fighting over that Invoker. Yeah, but he's relegated to the support yeah. role now. It's not the Exhort Invoker. It's no, no Sunstrike with, with their own last game. It's the Quas Vex remaining. coming out. I, I personally like the Quas Vex more than the Exhort. It's much more remaining. mobile and... You get to walk around with like almost. It's less fun though. It yeah. You actually oh. get to walk around the map with yeah. haste, movement, back. speed if you get a yield scepter. So that's my favorite. Build. Radiant team back. Well, we'll see who gets to put their hands on the invoker this time around. This Mineski team is just really filled with all stars. So like you've got Jay, Jules, Joven, all on the same team. Jesse Bash was one of their best players last game as well. So definitely a star-studded roster. But Dreams to me is Ten they've got more remaining. like the team synergy down. They were just like working more as a team rather than looking to go Five up on their own split switching remaining. last game. Yeah, and this game. Imineski has uh, Lich plus Invoker. They are both really good at executing early fights with the Chain Frost and the Tornado. The Tornado can be used to set up the, a good Chain Frost if he's going for the Quaswax build. The Exhort will be good with dealing the... If you have those Forge Spirits Radiant early, you can use the pick. Forge Spirits to deal with the Nether Ward early on. Yeah, uh, definitely a possibility here. Mineski and Dreams both taking their times with this Game 2 draft. As said earlier, Mineski do lead things 1-0 here. And Game number two. We'll see what the uh, what the decision is going to come. Dreams now. They've got the next pick coming up. As uh, we'll see exactly what it's going to be. Ten Winter. Any remain. any heroes you really want to see in in this series? Five I think I would like to remain. see something like a uh, something like a <laughs> probably a, a prophet. Okay. Prof yeah, Mineski went for it last game. They really do like that split push. Profit can add a lot. Invoker, not really the best for that, but they can still get another another kind of like core here. Like the, the Weaver, like, well, I guess Weaver already banned out, not an option, but we'll see what they look to get instead uh, if, for this game. If they want to go for more split push, uh, Exhort Invoker is definitely the much better choice compared to the Quaswax Invoker. Quaswax is more like you want to join fights early on with your Tornado and EMP, yep. but Exhort is more of a split pushing, going into the late game with more items, especially the Midas. Not that many Midas heroes picked up so far. Invoker, I guess, the, the best Midas gaming hero, but apart from the uh, Invoker... That's, that's still it. CM. Yeah. CM is... Well, it got picked up like fourth last time in game one, so I imagine we may see a CM pick here. Right? I, I actually think CM is uh, first pick material. Now, yeah. uh, there we go. The Crystal Maiden picked up by Dying Dreams. Pick. Wow. Crystal Maiden so far undefeated here. We've only had one game now. But. Yeah, the aura is going to be really helpful for the Pugna if they want to run something like an early game pushing and the aura is going to help Pugna class a couple more blasts towards the tower. So I think it would be a really good addition towards their team lineup, the aura. Well, 
Maneski pick up the Marana. Radiant so we get to see pink. some the Priestess of the Moon, some arrows flying around. And yeah, yeah Mi Mirana actually got buffed like every single patch recently. I thought we wants the team to pick up this hero. Well, the teams have started to pick up this hero. We're, we're seeing a lot of the carry Marana for the most part. It's, it's good because it can be like in the off lane as well as sort of in your safe lane as a carry hero. Yeah, he's a really versatile hero. He can be... I think he can even be played as a support to a certain extent where you roam around just to cast arrows in the first few minutes of the game and if you hit those arrows, you would get a lot from the early game. So there would also be a possibility for Minieski like the last game to run four carries and just one support. Yep. We'll see what dreams look to get here. They have not got any carry heroes yet really. They've got some like team fight. Like set up initiators, the clockwork, the puck, and they get uh, Venomanter as well. Yeah, this is push, an, push, push. this is another hero that is really good at pushing, and he got buffed really uh, a lot uh, recently with the sting being cut. Your wards have to, your poison sting now, and that's yeah. really helpful towards the hero in general. It deals more damage that way, and it synergizes with your lineup. The wards plus the pugna, they push down towers really quickly. See what Maneski want to get. They need something to stop these pushes. Right now in Voker, I guess, Ten if you have like your Exor build, build, you have your the Deathling Blast with the Chaos Media, the Meatballs, you can maybe Five stop pushes. But remaining. I think Quas Swags in Voker would do better yeah. stopping the push. Reserve okay. time. Well, Maneski, that to me is like their only good hero right now for stopping pushes. Lich and Mirana both not the best. Yeah, and they, they ban out the Earthshaker. Earthshaker is actually really good at stopping pushes as well. Well, they could have picked it up themselves, but I guess that was before they saw the Crystal Maiden Venom picks, and Dreams have a really strong early game lineup. Like, that's where Maneski are going to struggle. Invoker needs a lot of levels before I, they really I think they can probably pick up the Windrunner as their position 4. Windrunner is really good at stopping pushes, and Mineski like to run a really greedy, carry, uh, really greedy hero as their position 4 support. So Windrunner could be a really good addition to their lineup. Okay. See exactly what they want to get here. They're using up their extra time. Only 35 seconds remaining before they have to make their decision for this last pick. Mineski have a bit of breathing room though, having one game one, so maybe they can a lot less pressure on them. They can relax a bit, they can be a bit more experimental. For dreams, they have to win this game if they want to stay alive. Uh, when you say experimental, I feel like you're uh, you're actually hinting they're gonna pick a punch. Oh, disruptor though, new Aghanim Scepter on this Radiant hero team back. disables items, it's like an AoE doom. Disruptor is just insane now. And I really like the, all the small changes to the hero, like the kinetic feel, you have more more AoE, and the level 1 Thunderstrike deals 160 damage right Ten now in the new patch. Remaining. Yeah, uh, all around, like this hero got a lot of buffs, and it's just, Five I think even Glimpse got buffed, yeah. the cooldown got shorter. G Glimpse have a 10 second lower cooldown. It used to be 30 seconds at level 4, it's 20 seconds right now at level 4. So all 4 spells of his got buffed. Yeah, Radiant so I saw you saying pick this hero. Yeah, he wasn't. I mean, he got picked once or twice before. Like he was at the TI2 Grand Finals when I remember uh, IG picking him, but very rarely picked. But we'll get him here after a lot of buffs. This hero is definitely yeah. very powerful. However, guards, I think Disruptor is really weak against the Pugna Netherworld plus the Clockwork. Okay. These two heroes are really deadly towards Disruptor. You cannot get hook. One hook from the Clockwork, you're dead as a Disruptor. You just have Ten to farm a Midas. Minus really solves all your problems. Yeah. <laughs> get a Midas, get a BKB. Five seconds yeah. remaining. Midas, BKB, I don't... Well, he definitely wants to go for that Aghanim Scepter at some point, I guess. Do you want to silence Reserve items time. as well as uh, be able to go through those BKBs? So, well, we'll see exactly what the two teams yeah. are going to get in the last big three. Lone Drip, yeah. They we... went for it in game one, they're going to go for the game two. Yeah, we were talking about the game one, and we were thinking they were going to go for a Lone Druid Dragonite combination, but this game they went for a Pangna plus Lone Druid combination, yep. which is also about the same purpose, where you push down towers really quickly, but at the same time, you're in a lot of pressure, because this game they have only Lone Druid as their main DPS hero, and Mineski have an Invoker and a Mirana already. So if Mineski goes for another another semi-carry and Lich as a support, remaining. it means Dreams will be on a ticking ticking time where yeah. they need to Five push down the towers really quickly before Mineski farms up. If the game isn't over by 30 minutes or something, you've got to worry for Dreams Reserve because they don't time. have that many late game carries. Uh, I actually like the Prophet pickup for Mineski now yeah. in this Ten last pick. Remaining. It's really good. They go Batrider. Batrider's gone from like the first big hero to now, well, off at the end or not picked at all. 
Uh, nobody likes Batrider now wow. with all the nerfs. It looks like a jungle Batrider as well. Jay has been oh, playing that jungle support role. So. It's gonna be the greedy, greedy pick again. Jungle Bat and only one support. Apparently, only the disruptor. Lich yeah. is going to the Lich is going to be the off lane. They like their greedy, greedy play. And Maneski, I, last game it worked out for them. So, do you think they'll be running a Lich and a Mirana on the off lane? It looks like, well, Jesse Vash normally plays that offlane role. He's not really the often on, on a support, but we'll see what they want to do here. We're going to get ourselves into game number two. I'm God. Joining me is Winter, and Prepare it's time. Maneski versus Dreams, game number two. And on the Maneski side, we have Jesse Vash on the Lich. Owa on the Disruptor. Jules on the bottom. Jay on the Bad Rider. And we have Joe and Sanity on the Invoker. Well, on the Dream side, the Radiant side, we're going to see Doc playing the Lone Druid at the bottom lane. We're going to see Oblak playing the Crystal Maiden. Venomanta heading towards the top lane, being played by Yosh. Looks like Clockwork in the hands of Bonjour Lei. And then finally, who are we missing? It's the... We have the Pugna. Pugna in the mid lane, being played by Primo Neige. We'll see exactly what they're going to do. It looks like Pugna is your... Solo mid hero of choice. They're sending the CM bottom with the Lone Druid. Well, Lone Druid last game rushed to Midas. I imagine we'll see it's, some more Midas. It's gonna be a dual lane. So yeah. Vino plus Clockwork top and CM plus Lone Druid Vino uh, bottom lane. I think the new patch actually favors more on two one two instead of three one one. I I personally feel like sometimes the the off lane is your safe lane now because of where the creeps meet. What a lot of people have been saying, yeah, the offlane definitely the is a safer begins. place to be. Lich has gone for boots first. He'll be looking to just, I guess, deny as much farm as possible yeah. from the carry player of Dreams. When you have one carry player, one only one carry here on your team, you just send your Lich against that because Lich denies so much farm and experience. Yeah, and mid lane will be a really good matchup to see the Pugna against the Invoker. Yeah. Well, Invoker. It's Quas Vex again. It is our uh, Joven Sanity Invoker. Up against Pugna. Pugna going to be rushing a bottle by the looks of things, and uh, Invoker starting off with a first item magic stick. Yeah, the Vino is going to going to look for the Bat Rider now. He has a haste root. Well, the Gale at level one no longer doing any damage, but it does do a good bit of slow. Well, actually, I think he could have done a lot of damage to the Bat Rider if he wanted to. Yeah. Well, Bat Rider for the time being. Uh, he's already used up his five flight. And hasn't actually farmed all too much here, so not much more going to come from that. Yeah, the Clockwork Windrunner at the off lane with a really strong lane. He, they will be able to disrupt a lot of farm from this Mirana. Yeah. Um, I guess for Maneski though, they've got multiple kind of carry heroes. Like, they've got the Mirana, they've got Invoker. Even Batrider in the jungle, we saw last game. Jay was a, a jungle Mirana, but he ended up with the more farm than anyone. Yeah, he, he, he definitely was a hit on the net worth of everyone, even Dyer's though he started in the jungle as a Nature's Prophet at level 1. But he got a lot of gold from split pushing and taking towers. Yep. So, but this game he's on a bad. I doubt he'll be as rich as the first game. Yeah, it, a bit harder to get the same same amount of farm. Bottom lane, we have got Lich already denying a lot of experience and farm from the Lone Druid. So Lone Druid's not going to have the most fun time here. Crystal Maiden, though, this series kind of turned into a jungle here. Yeah. We're going to see just Crystal I, Maiden in the jungle. I actually think that it's better for him to start off at the big camp instead of trying to pull the small camp there and just use his... Frostbite yep. bite plus brilliance or aura to just keep jungling for the first two and three minutes. You get more EXP doing that instead of pulling the small camp. Well, Venomanta has boots. He could look to chase down Jay here, but not gonna try and do so. He's hot on Jay's trail. I, Jay no I think I think he's fly. doing a really good job this stopping the bat rider from farming smoothly in yeah. the jungle. As, as the top lane, like Mirana's <clears> being a bit annoyed by clockwork, but so far, Miranda still last hitting pretty well. Kind of up to par with, I guess, most of the other players. Yeah. The bad rider gave up the jungle, gods. Well, he's trying to do some pulls now. But <laughs> Venomanta, well, we'll see what Yosh... He can just sit here and leap the experience now. You do get to share that experience, and that really can cause some issues if you're if you're trying to jungle it up. Yeah, I think this is a fantastic manoeuvre by the Vino. Just constantly following the bad rider. Even though he's not doing any damage to him, he's just stealing his experience here and there. Oh, middle lane, they're looking for a kill here. Tornado goes down. Pugna, can you keep him alive? Oh, like, decrep. Nice decrep. Ooh, oh. fancy footwork from the Pugna. Gets himself out of that one. That was Lich coming in for a gank as well. 
Yeah, the, the Lich has boots and he was able to rotate around the map. Oh, here comes the Vino Mansa in mid lane. Oh. A Gale on the Invoker. Not enough damage though. That Gale does no damage at all and Invoker with, well, full magic sick charges. He can pop that magic sick. He's already got mo many points in Quas as well. No yeah, the Quas Wax build gives you a lot of lane same power, a lot of regen. It would be di more difficult to kill a Quas Wax Invoker compared to an Exile Invoker. Well, here's your jungle crystal maiden. Got to get that Midas up. All about the Midas gaming. Hey, and did CM. I did I tell you about the quarantine man? I played against and they ran the CM. He started with the gloves, the support CM, and had a six minute Midas. It's and you just gotta get that Midas as fast as possible, I guess. What this game's turned into a bit here. We're gonna see maybe a glimpse back here, disrupt the. Oh, uh, he didn't have enough range on yeah. the glimpse. It was the level one glimpse. Just that level one there's level two arrow for Jewel, so uh, mid lane, mid lane. That. Oh, can they actually get this kill tornado on uh, the Pugna? Yeah. Pugna taking a lot of damage. He, he, oh no, the Pugna might even die now. Oh, one more right click, he's not no. gonna get it. Invoker, magic stick up. Jove insanity, you may go down the Venomanta. Oh, oh magic stick! 25 oh, here comes the Bat Rider! He's got haste. Double kill. Too. No. no, he doesn't have Firefly! He's gonna find him. He's juking, he's driving. Jace, uh, Jay. he's not finding anyone! No, he's Firefly! 10 seconds off cooldown. Start right clicking away. His haste is gonna wear off soon. The CM is coming in. I think Jay is gonna oh. be in trouble. CM is maybe going for an Invoker. Oh. Invoker, no way out. There's your Frostbite, Joven. Oh, first blood! First blood, second blood, they lose oh. two! And that was Pugna so bad for them. Down. They lost the Venomancer, but they kill Invoker and Batrider. What a crazy... You know, Gods, the Vino is doing a lot of heavy lifting. He annoyed the Batrider so much that he decided to come out and try and gank. But he didn't even get any kills and he died as well. That was so, so big for them. The supports of the new carries, that's what it feels like. That was the Venomancer and the Crystal Maiden. Making plays happen for dreams. Really, really nice start there. Yeah, and now the CM miss continues his jungling. And she didn't even lose out too much on experience because she was jungling nearby. And when there was action in mid lane, she just rotated over. Didn't really waste too much of time. Top lane. Uh, Macy Clock would go down here. Well, he might survive. Yeah. Pugna's coming in. Here comes a blast. Josh, Life drain. He goes down. Oa gets brought down and dreams off to another fantastic start here. Three kills to one. Maneski yet to find their rhythm. They just can't get anything going. And Lone Drury has got a five and a half minute Midas. Oh. That's scary. Whoever gets the Midas first, guards. More Midas's, more victory. And Crystal Maiden, well, may become. Look, look at Jay. Money. He's jungling in the enemy territory. Yeah. Well, he's gonna find mud golems. You can't do much to them. It's like I give up. I'm not. I'm not going to my jungle. Oh, oh no! no. He, he got frostbite. He's got Nova. Oh, he's fine. He got, he got to the trees and escaped. Yep. His firefly was almost ending there. And they keep the rune here, so Pugna gonna come in, get the invisibility invisibility rune in. Well, Lich. The Lich King. There's your slow. No orb of venom on the bear, but Lich may go down regardless. Not gonna find tail. There's your Gale. And now they just chase him down. He's too slow to do anything. He's gonna go down and looks like Jesse Vash Chain with mail. the boots. The chainmail oh. saved his life. Chainmail and, 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 and I felt the Vina could have killed a lot earlier, like one second earlier. They would yeah. probably have still gotten a kill with they that. They needed that slow earlier. They also would have loved to have gotten an entangle from the lone druid. Yeah, but however, I think the chainmail was the primary reason that yeah. he, he tanked a lot of the damage. Dyer's his armor from 2 to 7. So yeah, that would have made him take like almost twice as many right clicks as it was. But it's still okay for Dreams. They're still winning on kills. There's your Gloves of Haste, Crystal Maiden. Gloves of Haste, Midas. Midas Gaming. Well, like a top man to kill Oh, he may, he may get a kill. He got hookshot. Uh -oh. He's not going for it. Oh, he, he actually, safe, he sends his spider sense. He knows someone's uh -oh. behind him. He needs a way out of this one. Moonlight should have been used. On your lane. Where is he actually going to go? Is there an arrow? He's going to hook to a creep, maybe. Oh, he needs to hook down. Oh, no. He can't do so. He's being blocked. So Mineski get themselves a kill. Well, mid lane Pugna goes invis. Well, yeah, and I wonder if the Pugna is gonna build a Dagon first. <laughs> oh, uh, he's got the Null Talisman and, and stuff. Okay. He Dagon. even went two points in decrap. Oh, he's gonna find the Disruptor. I think he could probably kill the Disruptor. Life drain blast. That's he's great. gonna kill off Oa. Oh, oh there's such, such a good kill. Very well played by the Pugna. 
He's no longer a pushing hero, he's becoming a hero killer. He's gonna farm heroes instead of uh, me talking about the Pugna farming towers. No. Well, he, he, he'll be the hero killer. Lone Druid will be more of the, the tower killer as he's got his Midas up. He's still continuing to farm away. Right now, Maneski in a bit of trouble here. This is game number two. If Maneski loses, we will be going to a game deciding game three. And Pugna picks up a haste at top rune, 8 minute rune. This will be really helpful for him to rotate around the map. He's got his Dagon. Oh, he's got his Dagon. Dagon at 8 minutes into the game. That is a cause for concern for Maneski. Uh, it's gonna be, life, life is going to be tough for the Disruptor for Owa. I think for e almost everyone in this game. Like, Decrypt last Dagon. Oh, bot lane. Yeah, bot lane. They, they tangled up, they made it. Here comes the chain frost. Oh, ping pong it goes. It's looking for both these two heroes. Oh, it's, it's going to get a kill. He goes down as well. Two Here comes kills. Oh, Pugna, where's that? He has that Dagon. He can't use it. Mineski gonna get three. The life uh, not gonna be enough. Mineski. Oh, here comes the Vino. They've got three. They want the Vino's more. gonna die as well. Oh, Vino, he's got no way out. Flame Break gonna push him back. Clockwork shows up though. He wants Jay. Bimbo's got nowhere to go. He's gonna lasso, but it's not gonna matter. Jay is gonna go down. It looks Jovan, like Jovan can't help him. His tornado was on cooldown. Everything on cooldown. The cold snap now. Oh, back he up. could kill the Vino now. Yeah, cold snap is there. He lost it. Actually, the napalm six six squares off. There's your tornado. Frost blast. Oh, frost, frost blast. blast. He's frost in fog. blast. He's hiding. He's taking us through. He's gonna get away. He got you. Oh, here comes the clockwork with the cards on the ledge. Uh oh, Jesse Bass. He's gonna go down. Oh, that, that gang did not turn out well for Mineski. This guy, the luck, lucky survivor, Yon, somehow escaping. Middle tower is under attack. They, they bought so much time for the Lone Druid as well, the farm. Yeah. After that. I guess Lone Druid did die that one time, but he can just go back into the zone. They, they actually got to. two kills after he died, when he respawned. So that was how yeah. long the fight la lasted. Tower is under attack. Well, Bimbo's getting close to his blink dagger after 1500 gold. Well I, well, I did not expect him to be that close to his blink dagger yeah. after that horrendous start. Yeah. I guess he, I mean, yeah, he, he did a bad time jungling. He then came mid and didn't get much, but he got a lot of kills in that fight. I, I wouldn't he say jungling bad. It was more like a yeah. <laughs> ganking bad rider. A support ganking bad rider. Well, let's we'll see how things work out from here. Pugna has the Dagon, but so far his kills have not come from this Dagon. Yeah, the first fight with the Dagon was not very successful for the Pangma. He's gonna be looking, attack. I think he should focus more on getting the first tier 1 tower at mid lane before rotating with his Dagon. Yeah, you don't want your Midas oh. off cooldown on your See, hero. He's, his bear. he's too afraid. Yeah. He doesn't want to go in with his hero, so... Yeah, he just pops the mind. He's not gonna get experience, but he will get the gold for it. Oh, here comes the clockwork. I hear a hook shot. I heard it. Uh. It didn't see it. Uh, missing the invoker, it looked like. Uh, the invoker actually went for an urn for his team. Yeah, he went for this build last game as well. Yeah. He seems I, to like this. Gives him know, some extra HP. You know, Ice 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 likes to get urn on his invoker, but there's one difference where he only does it when he goes exhort. Okay. The quad swags, I guess you get the HP anyways. Yeah, but you, you need some mana regen items as Quas Wax Invoker early on. If you're going to get a 4 staff, especially against a hero like Clockwork, you really want to get your 4 staff ASAP as soon as possible. So having that little mana regen from the from the urn is really helpful. And here comes the smoke game from Dreams, yep. the Vino and the CM. They're going to look to rotate middle to get the tower. If they get this kill, they get the tower oh, as well. Tower oh no, Jovan! Wow, Dagon! Oh, here comes the Disruptor! Crystal made an ult, gonna get oh. and they're gonna lose! The Hunter as well, the Invisibility, gonna keep the Disruptor alive, so... One kill each, the tower got taken by the Pugna, so... Oh, oh, good. Bottom lane gets killed as well, so Majeski... Yeah, they managed to kill the bag, and that's really bad for them. And now Blink Dagger is up on your back right now. Jay has a Blink Dagger at 12 minutes, despite all the harassment from the Venomancer at the start. Yeah. Shrugs it off like a boss. This is a lot closer than how game one started. Like, Dreams did okay in game one at the start, but. Oh, Midas Gaming. Oh, well, Marana's got one. You know, one, one, one of my one. friends told me there's a rule of getting Midas where you don't get more than three. So, how many Midas is there on the team on Mineski right now? I've seen teams get more than three, I think. You get. Well, uh, I think three is a really good limit for it. Right now, there's only the one Midas for each team, so. Yeah. 
Uh, it's actually two on Dreams for Crystal Maiden. Oh yeah, Crystal Maiden's still looking for that though, but yeah. We'll have it soon, especially with this tower thing tower just picked up. Blue Druid, more money going his way. And do you think it's better for him to go for a Radiance this game or start out with a Maelstrom? If he can get the Radiance attack. in the next like six or seven minutes, I think it's good thing. Radiance mid yeah. tower. He's killed, he needs to go for something else. Here comes the Pagma doing work. Taking him down another tier 1 tower at top lane. They're gonna get. Dreams is gonna get a lot of map control from this. Dyer's top also, tower a lot of money. They're getting tower after tower. That's three towers in a row. Two going to the Pugna, one going to the Lone Druid. Yeah, this is not looking good for Mineske at the moment. They're losing map control as the game goes on. Yeah, mid lane. Oh, they uh, missed man. the tornado. They missed the tornado. The kinetic field landing, not gonna really matter, I don't think. I think they would have gotten the kill if they got the tornado on Oh, here comes the Pagna. The Pagna is coming from the side. Uh oh. Uh oh. Dagon. Dagon. Blast. 5 HP. He survives it somehow. Oh not enough damage. He has glimpse. Oh, well, not going to use anything here. We see Batrider coming in. He's got his blink back. Oh, behind, behind. Uh, here comes the clockwork. He wants the third hero. The flame break pushes him out. The focus that Oh, dust. The focus dusted. Uh oh. Jovan is in trouble. Clockwork can't quite catch up, they need an entangle from their low druid. They're not getting the entangle though. Where's the root? This is now no, no admirable but first hit no. entangle. Oh here oh, comes Jay! Blink in! Firefly's on cooldown as well. There's your entangle. Admiral pulls on, he shows up. And Jay. I don't think he's getting out. He's got Lasso, Lasso, Lasso. Bounce around. Chain cross. Lone Druid not gonna take too much damage. Venomancer Man comes in with an ultimate and Jesse Bash is gonna be the one to take a fall. Disruptor. Oh, the Bat Rider has a double damage. He's coming in from behind with the Mirana. Wow, he's even gonna find first. Crystal made uh, freezing Crystal freezing field. field. Oh, not enough. Dreams have lost four. The oh, uncharge. Jovan, Jovan is going low. Nope, survives it. Lone Druid's the only one left, left standing. This will be a team one. Team They're mark. gonna lose all five. Dreams get completely taken out by Maneski. Yeah, that was, uh, that was a really good fight executed by Mineski. Basically, all of their heroes were close to dying, but no one yeah. died. And they turned around. But the Bat Rider got a double damage rune from the bottom rune, and he came back and helped his teammates. And they turned the fight around. That was such a good play by Mineski. The partner used his Dagon on the Disruptor, who lived on like uh, 3 HP. You can start questioning the Dagon oh. here right now. Where's the, where's the mech? <laughs> where's the healing mech? Oh, here comes the clockwork. Grims. Oh, send that. Too late. They've already lost him. They lose the Lich here, but they don't lose anyone else. Yeah. You, you know, guards, imagine if that that gold, the, the Pagna span was on an uh, item like a mecha. Well, there's a mech now. Uh, he got a mech, if he got a mech earlier, that yeah. would have probably been a different fight. Well, Dream still with a small lead here in game number two. They need to win this thing to take it to yeah, a game they, three. They can't drag the game too long because Mineski has three calls. Yeah. It's where you really need uh, actually, that thing. Actually, 2.5 because Bat Rider and Lich are not exactly DPS heroes later on. The Invoker and the Mirana are definitely decent damage. We're seeing once again the Quaz Wex Invoker Tornado EMP. Yeah, he, it looks like he's going for a Yule Scepter this game. Oh. I personally feel like a 4 stuff would have been a lot better for, for the Clockwork. Yeah. Well, we'll see how, how things work out. It'll give him a lot of movement speed with the Wex points as well as the. The, the, the Yule Scepter will make him almost maximum movement speed running around the map. Yeah, and Bat Rider is going to be the one building the 4 stuff, but I think they need really more than one 4 stuff, and here comes the Firefly. Well, Bat Rider's alone He's guy. alone, yeah, he's what? alone. Jay, what? you gotta be careful, man. You haven't got any backup, his blink's been cancelled. You know is it dust? Oh, Nova. Wow, he needs to TP out. Oh, he's actually buying a lot of time. Look at the both of the other lanes. Mineski is pushing both lanes, and Jay is just... Buying so much time for them to take both the towers. The split push, the rat donor coming out from Maneski. Looks like they're oh, going to get Oh, if someone TPC in the disruptor can send him back. Yep. Oh! Oh. Bye-bye, Clockwork. Radiant's top wah, tower wah. has fallen. So sorry, buddy. Oh, it's going to be funny if he gets another stand back at top lane. His glimpse is almost off cooldown now. Five seconds away. Is anyone actually? Someone might TP in here, but oh, it he looks like away. he's yeah, he's, he's backing off. Oh, decrep is there, but Chopin got the tornado, catches them all out, so he's o he's okay in the mid lane. Radiance top is under Just attack. Just up to more shenanigans yeah. at bottom. Sh Bad rider shenanigans or J shenanigans? Yeah, this guy's such a sneaky, hard to catch down little ninja. Radiance Just top tower is under attack. 
Okay, I think they really need to buy a lot more time for both for the Mirana to farm up. Since he went for Midas, he basically has 2,000 gold worth of items in his inventory that doesn't help him to fight. So he needs more time to get ready to join the fights. Yeah. And most likely he's going to build a Lincoln Sphere first. Well, Dream, they don't really tower. do too well he's to late game with their one carry, so I think Maneski are happy to I, just... I actually think probably. getting a Manta style would have been better. It, would have been a yeah. Would have been a better option instead he of might, the Lincoln's. He might still go for it, I guess. You can get out of what frostbite as well as the entangle with it. Yeah, and Manta gives you more damage than the Lincoln's. Here comes the wrap around by Jeans. Oh, the disruptor! Oh, tornado EMP gonna catch up to here as Andrew disruptor opens as well. They're gonna lose the crystal maiden. Now in Boga caught by the clockwork, but got pushed out. Oh, he actually he got four star. Four star. It may save his, his life here. He's on the run and look at this movement speed. He's just too fast, I like, can't keep up to him. Yeah, look, at, look at Jay, he's, he's standing behind enemy lines again, probably trying to stop a TP. Yeah, he's got his full stuff now to go with the Blink Dagger. Well, mech up for the, the Lich as well, yeah. so Maneski get a mech of their own. And I would, like to, really I would like to see a medallion from the Lich as well. With that, they could do the Roshan really easily, but without the medallion, they would take too long of time to do the Rosh. Here comes the arrow. Oh, oh just hitting the bear. Almost skipping the hero. Meanwhile, Batrider killed off the Venomancer in the jungle, so... Maneski are catching up, and they're actually, I think, they're getting ahead now, uh, so... Look at, look at that turnaround from the gold. Yeah. 4,000 gold. Oh. Let's see what Dream can do here. They've, they've really got to start taking more towers. They've got the pushing line, they've got to use it, they need to maybe start sticking together. Looks like they're going to wait for the Lone Druid to finish off his Radiance. He's saving up a lot of money right now. We'll have to see if that Radiance does come out anytime soon at all. Yeah, by the time he gets his Radiance, the Mirana, the Mirana and the Invoker will have probably another item. Yeah. They can just kill that bear as well. I, like they've I, got Cold Snap, they've got Ice Wall. I think the Invoker will be most likely looking to go for a Hex right after, or even a BKB against those heroes. He could almost get the medallion himself if he wanted. He's already got the Sage's Mask. Radiance top tower I guess with the Urn there, he wants yeah. to get maybe a big I, I don't think you should get an Urn plus a medallion on a carry like Invoker. He wastes so much of your item slot. It's better off for him to save up for the Hex. It's better that way for his team. As I said, Dreams really need this Radiance out on top. That is just crucial if they want to be able to take these fights in the next 5-10 yeah. uh, minutes. And look look at the position of the Mineski heroes. They have one hero on top, three heroes in middle, one hero, uh, two heroes in middle, oh, middle, mid lane. They're going on the puck now. They're in trouble. They're going to just fight that game here. Oh uh, no. Owa seems to be in a lot of trouble now. Well, goes in there. He's already been dusted up though, so this is actually uh, making him slower. Uh-oh. Degrep, blast, uh, Is he going to get... Uh, he, he barely managed to get to the Roshan. Yeah, bottom lane, Jay is doing a lot of damage to the yeah. tower as well. Oh, TP coming in. This is going to be the Clockwork. Clockwork does not have his hook shot, so... Jay is just uh, killed Tomo. It's Firefly. Taking a lot of damage. There's oh, here comes the Lone Druid and the Pugna. Okay. So force him out. He almost, almost gets a Clockwork there. This tower is going to get to die now. Oh, here comes Jay. He blinks in. He's looking for the Clockwork. I think he won't blink out. He saw the puck as well. I'm gonna get the hell out of here. Radiant's bottom tower has been denied. Well, some split pushing by the bat rider. Yeah, Maneski loved to split push like this. Oh, the, the Mirana got an item. Did he buy something? Yeah. It's on the career. Lincoln Sphere. Boots of travel. And boots of travel. Boots of travel for the bat rider. Oh, that gives the bat rider more presence on the yeah. map. They're gonna look to take down the tier one in middle right now. Here yeah, comes the bad rider. Yeah. Oh, oh, the Vino is in the trouble. Find the Vino. He can't. Uh, the, oh. the nerf from the the nerf from the lasso from the last match. 100 range now. That tiny tiny circle. You see what he's working with. And you kind of understand Radiant's how hard that middle was. Middle tower has been denied. Yeah, that was very that was very unfortunate. Dreams deny both mid tower as well as bottom tower. So they're denying Mineski for a, a lot of gold right now. Yeah, but I think the main point of Mineski is to try to get more map control. I, I don't think they would be too sad about the fact that they got two towers denied, but they'll be yeah. continuing to speed push right now and try to make space for for them to do a Roshan. Well, they're, they're positioned nearby. They're going to go for a... Yeah, this is a really good time for a smoke gank. Yeah. See how Dreams can react and respond here. Oh, they're still working on their next couple of items and... Where is that Radiance? 200 gold away. 
then we have the Lone Druid Radiance. Then he's got to fight with his team. Yeah, this is a really good timing window for Mineski. The Lone Druid hasn't got his Radiance and they want to try and pick a fight right now. Not going to see anything come just yet. Mirana can fight as well. You've got a Lincoln Sphere. Uh, I think they're going to catch someone here. Yeah, looks like Vino Oh, Vino. Yosh. Oh, they're going to break the Lincoln. It's actually Dreams with numbers here. Lasso onto the puck now. They're going to chase him down, pull him away. They brought him alone, but... Disruptor almost get used. Oh, the Disruptor. The Glimpse. That's oh. good for Dreams. They kill one, they lose no one. Oh boy, the CM actually didn't die to... The Invoker was trying to kill the CM right on the side, and the CM dropped it. CM didn't die, and they didn't even win the fight at, at, at the top side of the map, and they lost the Mira, Mirana. Well, there's your Radiance now up on the Lone Druid, so... I think Dreams now look to start pushing one tower at a time. They want to try and break Mineski now. The, the Bat Rider is trying to slow down the push here with his yep. Firefly. A bit to be annoying here. Now I'm going to drop, drop yeah. the Pugna Wars. I think they can still fight here though if they want to. The Mirana is going to be respawned in 15 seconds. Here comes the here comes the Tornado EMP. Doesn't do too much. It looks like it just put out the Clockwork maybe. Arcane Boots and Mech both being popped the glitch can use, I think Dreams just focused down this tower now. They have to be a bit careful because oh. Mirana... Jules, Jules is up now. They can try to pick a fight right now. Oh, oh here comes the clock. Oh, he doesn't get caught by the clock. Then Lich has a chain still Chain Frost. Uh -huh. Chain Frost. Oh, cancels it. The Lich has Chain Frost still. Oh, Mineski not going in just yet. Looks like the top tower is going to be protected for now. And Dreams say back off without taking any losses. So just going to play things safe for the time being. Yeah, I think they should try and get up a pipe before they try and engage the next fight for Dreams. Maybe get the Clockwork to get a pipe, but it seems like he's going to build on an Axe Hefter instead. Well, they bought a gem as well, so they can now spot out the Moonlight Shadow when it's being used. Yeah, it's really important to have a gem against the Mirana ultimate. It's going to be off cooldown in 15 seconds. Oh, here, here comes the Bat Rider. He's being sneaky, coming from behind. Pugna, it's, Pugna is the choice of target right now. Oh, oh that, that oh. ultimate. Good that ultimate from Navino. Chain Frost, Chain Frost. Oh, the Chain Frost is going to kill Navina. Oh, the flame break, anything. They can't bring down Yoss, but they killed off three Maneski. Oh, they lost the gem as well. Uh oh. Losing CM, Clockwork, and Pugna there. Great choice of Euro to go in with the lasso. Jay found the Pugna. Yeah. And without Pugna, they didn't even get off his mech that much. I think he didn't got. He didn't even use his Nether Ward and Mecha. Those two, the Nether Ward plus the Mecha, was so crucial for them in the fight. They have to scout out Maneski with the Radiance, because the Radiance can stop the Blink Dagger from the back, from the back right effort. It. it was smoked up and just caught Dreams by surprise. Yeah, they, it was a really good wraparound gang by Mineski. They tried to rotate from behind and getting getting the fight started from the front usually doesn't really help if you're running up against the Pugna Ward. So starting the fight from behind was really good for them. It was a really good execu well executed gang from the back rider. Well, we'll see what Dreams look to do now. That T2 top tower did end up going down. Like it just went down to some radiant creeps, but dreams are taking down more towers. But Maneski seems to be finding the kills and making the your shine time. Well, oh no, they're not gonna go for it yet. What can dreams do about this one? I think the uh, dreams is in a really uncomfortable position right now. You you pick a Pagna, you pick a Lone Jude, you don't want be, to be the team on 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 the other side defending you want to be the ones pushing the the, the lane against the enemy so they really need to get their momentum and rhythm going to make use of the lone jute plus pugna pickup yeah maneski is just pushing out lanes for the time being they've got marana on top and poker at bottom these heroes aren't even protected but they're just off on their own pushing yeah. lanes and this is against like a clockwork who can hook in and initiate on them but maneski is so confident with their split push yeah, here comes the smoke gang from Dreams. I don't think they'll be able to find anyone right here. The Invoker should probably get out as soon as he finishes the wave of creeps. Yeah, even using his tornado. Uh, un unless, out. unless he's really cocky and he stays behind. Oh, Rocket. he should, he should know something is wrong now. Where's he gonna go? Jay is teleporting in. Well, they don't have a gem right now. Oh, here comes the hook from the clockwork. And they even got dust here. I don't know if they've got any detection. Oh, the cavalry is coming on from behind. Well, their backup coming in. Are they going to fight here? Maneski have a few more heroes and they're going to look to... They have the lasso up. He gets, he gets hit, he can't blink for the time being. We'll be able to in a second. Yeah, but... yeah I guess they're not going to fight because Jules is still pushing middle and yeah. he's, he's not coming to join the fight. It means that they're going to just back off right now and just continue farming off their map. Yeah, Maneski, they're happy to take this late game. Look, 
Varana's getting more fun. I he's gonna get it. he's gonna get a Manta style yeah. right now. It's gonna be more damage, more speed push for them. And just keeps him alive in these fights as well. Manta can get rid yeah. of a lot of these. Look look at the way he's rotating. He drawed out she drawed all the Dream Heroes to mid lane and he calmly leapt towards the top lane and continues speed pushing top. It's a really good map movement by by Jules. Rana, one of uh, Jules' best heroes, and he's showing it here. He's got a lot of farm to his name. He's leading the farm, only just ahead of the Lone Druid. So, Lone Druid, I guess, maybe the Assault Crest is coming up next. And yeah, it looks like Assault Crest is going to be what he wants to go for. And yeah. I guess Lone Druid can push out these I, I think even the Vlads would be really helpful for them to push, and not to mention the Vlads is really good for the Spirit Bear as well. Yeah. Comes the arrow. arrow. Not going to land on anyone. They just going to just chip away at this tower. They've got the Lone Druid and the Pugna Blast. They need Jay to initiate with the lasso, but he's, he's been hit by a Gale, so he can't actually blink right oh, now. Oh, the bear. The bear might go down. They're going to get the bear, maybe. Oh, not the quite enough damage. The tornado didn't hit the bear. And... Oh, here comes the bear rider. Is he going to pull someone? Oh, he's oh. stuck in the trees. Four stuff. Yeah, he gets out. Arrow not going to hit anything. I think Dreams would be yeah. really happy they got the tower for free. Yeah. No one lost, and they didn't use any major spell to take down the tower. They're doing a good job of scouting out the Batrider, using uh, the Venomancer ward. Look, they hit him with a Gale just so he can't blink. You know what, Gods? Look at Jay's item. This is his standard signature item. Bling Dagger, four stuff, use after. <laughs> Doesn't matter what hero, he'll, he'll get these items. Yeah, the mobility items. And I think Jim should probably continue trying to pressure down the last tier 2 tower at bot lane. See what comes next. Maneski maybe want to go for a smoke here. See if either I think, oh, this is a good point of initiation for the bear either. Oh, oh no. Is. He's gonna pull the Lone The Lone is the tankiest target. Yeah. I'm not sure if this, it's the right decision. Oh, they get pretty far away. He is thrown up in the air. They need to kill him though. Ice wall. Jovan's gonna die. Jovan's gonna die. They gone. Clockwork hookshot. He catches out too. He gets sent back though. Oh, oh. no. That's sent back. That was such a good hookshot though. Catching out two in there. Oh, here comes the Crystal Maiden. Alright, they're gonna get Jesse Vash. Anyways, Crystal. Oh! Chain Frost, not gonna do much. One more right click. Jesse Vash, he's still alive. He's, he's still at four star. Uh oh, he's trapped. He's the got the gem as well. GP oh, not the gem, the Radiance! Radiance. Radiance. Oh. oh! And Joven, four star for the low ground. Gem is now on the Crystal Maiden. Dreams get themselves a couple more kills and they want to push here. Uh, they're gonna get this tier tower. BKB get tier two tower. Now on the Pugna. Wow, BKB. Here oh, comes the Bat Rider, okay. Lasso again. Round two. Round two. Oh, the arrow hit the creep. The arrow oh, no. didn't hit the bear. They've lost Jay as oh, well. Oh no. They're gonna lose the thing. We'll kill the low Drew, but they've lost Leech Bat Rider. Now the disruptor is lost. Joe been taking a lot of damage, but it looks like he made two. Oh, the clockwork. Clockwork's oh, gonna go down. Oh, oh no. The dreams. Oh, that was so unfortunate, guys. The arrow would have killed the bear earlier, and the fight would have been the other way around because the spirit bear, he he had like another few extra seconds to live that fight, and he dealt so much damage to the Mineski heroes. Well, Dyer's the tower's still tower up. Is under Dreams lose two there, but oh, the Lone Druid their only carry. He has his assault though. Yeah, this is. I still think Dreams are looking pretty good here. They're actually leading by three thousand gold, but there's still Roshan then could happen later on and Mineski is on the dire side so they could use that advantage to their hands and to Jules try and win a fight. Too. Not yeah. just Lincoln's man style, he's got a good 1500 gold on top of that. Yeah, I'm actually also interested to see, I want to see like some play, uh, players use the Lincoln Sphere to protect their teammates in the recent patch. Yeah. It got added to the item which is uh, a really useful way, like you can use it to block off the frostbite from this Crystal Maiden. I think, I think players just like aren't used to it yet. Like they just yeah. don't, it's not in their mind that you can actually use Lincolns on teammates. Yeah, you can even use the Lincolns to block off the Dagon. Yeah. yeah. A number of spells it could be yeah. quite useful against. But yeah, the Pungma is actually really, really farmed. He's he's going to be doing a lot of damage in the fight. After he, he gets his Axe Scepter, wow, that would be a really, really big, yeah, big problem for Mineski to deal with during the fight. feels like a... We mentioned that Dreams only have one carry hero, but this Pungma something yeah. looks a bit like oh, a Oh, here comes hero. the Smoke Gang. Uh-oh, who are they going to fight? The CM. CM is going to be in trouble. Oh no, the Pugma! Oh, Pugma oh here comes the ward! Down. BKB! He can't die with the BKB. I mean, oh no, gonna... Lasso! Oh, the physical damage maybe Here comes the Vino ultimate! Beck gets used, he's still alive, and now they're going to try to turn this one around. He's silenced oh, no, the Pugma! The Pugma, the Pugma goes down! Oh, they're still chasing the lone druid with the radius. Jules has no lead. Root Gaming, Root Gaming, he needs to get an Entangle right now. No oh no, Chain Frost! Bounce, bounce. Oh, oh no, no Bounce! bouncing! Not enough. 
Maneski have lost three. Miranda surviving on. Oh no. They almost lost. A, if they had lost the Mirana, then that would be so such a big disaster. Now the Mirana can go back to base and heal and come out and challenge the Roche. I, it's, you're still gonna wait a long time to heal up. This will be a good ten oh, seconds he's, in he's using, I think they still have enough time though. They, they need to teleport in right now. Well, there's a T2 point Oh, Bat Rider is really good at stealing the Aegis. Yeah. Guards. Mushi play. Is, Mushi play is coming in. Also good at getting out of here. Here oh. we go. Here, but the Colts will make this difficult. Oh, he needs he to get the Colts. Oh no, he got hit by the oh, oh, no! The he got arrowed the bear. They lost and the bear died. They lost the He lost his bear. Lost and they his oh lasso oh, now with lasso. the dog. He's got no full stuff though. Jay's not getting this kill. He got Marana killed off. Oh no, here comes the clockwork. Oh, gets pushed out, glints back, Marana may look to get this kill, Mima. Bonjour, anyway, out of this one, the bear is there, needs an entangle. Oh, entangle, entangle. Where's the roots? There's no root gaming today. Uh, this bear has some tough luck with his root. He's not getting any entangles. People are going to now firefly out of this one. I, I, was... would, I would consider it a good victory by Mineski. Yeah. They managed to get off the Aegis without losing anyone. And kill the Crystal Maiden as well, so more farm to Morana, who now has a Demon Edge as well. Yeah, Monkey King Bar is really good on that area. Well, actually, I think Daedalus would have been a better option. The more I figure it out, like, there's no one getting a butterfly right now. Yep. So, Monkey King, Monkey King Bar is not a uh, really... It could be like, either, I guess, at this point. Yeah, it would also be good, but I would prefer to get a Daedalus at this point. Even saying, like, a Diffusal Blade would be nice, just to get rid of all the decrep and decrep yeah, and other Yeah, spells. true. I totally agree with you on oh, that. And top lane, it's a lone druid again. He likes to last the lone well, druid. You may be invis, but there's a trail of fire which everyone oh, no. can see. Uh, I think Lone Druid sees the fire. He's like, wait, what? what's going on? <laughs> this isn't safe. Someone's burning my jungle gods, the Lone Druid says. Yeah. <laughs> I'm again, They're gonna get that consolation prize. Yeah, a small victory for I think Manessi. he doesn't, does he have his spray bear up yet? Oh, it's gonna get glimpsed! Oh, they had uh, vision. Here comes the teleport from his teammates. Well, cold snap, cold snap. He's gonna oh. get away. The clockwork, clockwork is there. That disruptor somehow could see him. That was some insane vision coming out. Yeah, yeah. Here goes Jake. Yeah, He's got comes lasso. the bat rider right with his Arrow. lasso. What He's gonna great. find a Pogna maybe. There's a nether ward down uh, though. Oh, that, no. I don't think he wants I, to fight. I don't think they should fight with the nether ward down. It's yeah. gonna be very dangerous for his teammates. Well, he decides against it. Uh, that, Mineski is just gonna get out, continue their speed push. 24 to 23, 35 minutes in. These two teams still very even. I would put Mineski slightly ahead in the late game because of the way their heroes work. They are better at speed pushing and catching, catching heroes out with the bad rider. So they would probably have the better advantage in the late game. Yeah. Well, will be an MKB from the Mirana. Yeah. As far as the other items go. Yeah, however, gods, we have to remember the bear has 12 slots technically. The best late game hero. In some ways. <laughs> Well, as far as yet, like, there's no Agathon Scepter coming out for the Disruptor, so we're not going to really get to see that this time around. Well, I, I don't really think that item is that much of a strong item on Disruptor. I, sometimes I feel getting a 4 staff would have been much more helpful for your yeah. team instead of getting the Axe Scepter on Disruptor. Especially so, as a support, you don't really get that much money. Yeah. I think the hero just, like, all his, of his three main spells getting buffed just makes him a lot, a lot of money. We'll see what Dreams look to do here. It does feel like they they do need to. Their, their draft has a timer on it. They've got to yeah. try and push soon. And well, they're going to do just that. Yeah, but uh, I think I would want to love to see a Trout Slaughter there as well. It's been a while since I last, see, last seen a Trout Slaughter there. Well, he's got a lot of money to play around with here. Hasn't picked up anything since his assault for him, I think. Coming in. Uh, I don't really think they'll be getting anyone in the jungle. Yeah, yeah Maneski just split up all around the map farming. One hero top, one bottom, three in the Ancients. They stick, some of the heroes that are vulnerable stick together. The heroes who can split push alone do so. Jay hard to gank. Same applies for the Marana. Very hard to gank with Lincoln as well as Lee. Yeah, he, got his, he actually chose to go for a Monkey King bar. Radiant's top tower is He actually helps Radiant's when he sieges just the high ground. He can hit from the low ground without missing any attacks. Here comes the Firefly. Oh! oh. The Crystal Maiden! Glimpse. Radiant's Glimpse. Top tower is falling. Yeah, oh no, really... he didn't catch him in the kinetic field. Yeah. CM takes a lot of damage in. Well, Marana comes back to the bench, so... Here comes the, here comes the lasso on the bear. 
they have so much hate for the band. Okay, they kill the band. I, I think it was a really well worth last song there. The band is technically the hero right now. If they, yeah, it's, it's better to kill the yeah. bear than if, the if, if they get the bear again, Dreams wouldn't be able to fight. Yeah, you chase them down at that point and see what Mineski can do here. They're on the high ground. They haven't got the lasso, but it's got a pretty short cooldown. Only 30 more seconds they've got to wait. Here Arrow comes the arrow. Oh, oh, he's going to get the, he's going to get the nether ward. Nether ward goes down. Now at Mineski with a fight. There's your chain for us. It's not going to bounce though. BKB, BKB on the punt now. Oh, clockwork is caught in the disruption. Oh, disruptor is going down. He's got in this. Oh, he's, oh, he's going to TP out. out. No Disruptor's keeping out. Arrow, not the plan. Oh, no, no one, one died. Down. No one died there. They're gonna be streeting. <laughs> they have to stop letting heroes go with a beast stick of life. <laughs> <laughs> well. I guess Dreams will probably just go back and farm their two lanes. It's, there's no point for them to try and push right now. The yep. lanes, there's, they have so much farm they can go for in the map. They haven't got their second Spirit Bear as well. Yeah, Invoker has a Hex right now. It's definitely dangerous. And Lasso on the back right is back up. Back right, oh. he's down. Oh, oh he missed. He's not going to get it. That 100 range Lasso yep. range. Oh, it's causing some bottom tower is under attack. It's actually really hard to get the lasso now. You have to be pinpoint accurate on your blink position so that you get your lasso off. So it's really difficult to, to land it perfectly. Oh, continuing to farm. Yeah. MKB and then suddenly he's got 2k gold. I'm, I'm actually foreseeing, foreseeing the, Pio, the Mirana attack. to go for like full DPS items. He might even go for a Butterfly Daedalus. Not even a BKB this game. Just to go for all our damage items. Too. And, and, and they have, they have actually eloquity on the evoker as well to help him deal damage. Alright, well. Items coming out for Mineski and it's, well, still slight gold lead for Dreams, but it definitely feels neck and neck. Neither team with too big of an edge. If anything, Mineski have better control over the map right now. And, well, another tower maybe going to land. Blink in from the Crystal Maiden. Tornado. Full catch. Uh, Mineski is just gonna back off and split push. Yep. That's where your boots of travel takes the front. Uh, you get a good boots of travel and you're able to split push around the map so much more effectively. Yep, even Mirana Jules may go for some more boots of travel just to help get around the map. Uh, I guess he'll probably fill out his items first. Maybe if he has an Aegis, then he'll get a boots of travel. As for, for Jay, he's got himself a, a good chunk of farm at this top lane. No new items coming at any time. Yeah. Both teams will probably be keeping an eye out for is Roshan. Roshan yeah. can be respawning in the next one to four minutes. It is random now, so the teams don't know when it's going to be coming back up. They'll have to be keeping a close, uh, close I think Dreams will be probably looking to push right now. They are in a good position. Top lane is push out, bottom lane is push out. It's time to go mid lane right now as yeah. five heroes. Disruptor forced to TP back. He knows what might be coming. Frost armor there as well. This new Frost armor is very Here powerful. Here comes the Bat Rider again on the Bat. All the hate on the Spirit Bat. Somebody call Peter. <laughs> that is just animal cruelty from Jay. Yeah, they're gonna still go with their with their second spirit yep. back. They get another spirit. They have to be really careful with this time when they push it. They're they lose the tower lower and lower though. Yeah. Wow, BKB! Oh no stop. Here comes this. the clockwork! He's got four stuff, he's not gonna be Oh he will oh, get the, the crystal. Oh the lich goes oh. down! No chain frost for them! They hexed the CM though. That was a hex just to stop the freezing field. Now a Gale comes out. The Invoker getting trapped up. Tornado into multiple heroes. Oh heroes. no, the hook misses. Hook. They're going to lose the bear. The bear is going to go up. down. Oh D no, the crap. Four staff and something, anything. Return the bear. bear. Return the bear. Four staff. They need to back off. They need to back off right now. They've lost one. They lost That's the combo. They'll bring down the disruptor though. The life drain from the Pugna is killing uh -oh. all heroes left and right. Pugna's getting caught. He's being pulled under the BKB. tower. Gem on the ground. Pops a BKB, he's got no life. Oh, they're gonna get the Rex! Rex! <laughs> Who needs a bear? Who needs a bear? Oh, he Rex! Said, I'm the real bear. Dreams get Rex! 42 minutes in. Tornado on two heroes. Well, oh, no. they're gonna, gonna lose their hero. They're gonna but lose the bear. Team wide dreams, but they lose Rex. Was it worth it, gods? Was oh, it worth it? Only yeah. the melee Rex. They kill up two or three heroes as well, though. It was. It was close. If Mineski gets Ro get Roshan now, then it's definitely not Yeah, I don't think they can counter push with the Rex right now. It takes them too long. Probably going, like what you said, the Roshan is yeah. the best option right now. They're going to go for the Roshan. The Mineski are getting so many items up. You're Batrider with a Necrobook. I, I think they wouldn't mind losing the melee Rex, to be honest, to kill all five heroes. Yeah. 
They're not even going for Roshan. They're going for bottom lane. They may even go for it. Well, Are think, they going to try to push Rax? I think... 40 yeah. seconds on Lone Druid. He well, I think going for the Roshan would be a much safer option. Attack. They want to try to force buybacks, it looks like. Hmm. Pugna and Lone Druid both I, dead. I, I personally feel it's the better Radiant option to get the Roshan. The bear is going to be up in 25 seconds. They're not going to get Rax for that. Will they even force these buybacks? Pugna, Me I think, will wait. Bear, I think he can wait this one out. They may lose the tower at most, but... Saving those buybacks is very important. Oh, the bear doesn't actually have buyback. He does. Oh, he does? Yeah. Oh boy. He's saving it though. They've lost one though. They lose Venomanta. Oh, this... Venez keep pushing the high ground. This is trouble. Oh, they got a free... They, they got up. two towers from now that. They, now they go for Roshan maybe. Radiant's yeah. Top tower. I don't think they should push right now since the bear's already been spawned. And top lane taking a lot, decent amount of damage as you know, well. You know, Gods, I was quite surprised the bear didn't buy back for that. That was yep. bad. That's bad for them, actually. They lost two towers. Well, they have got uh, big items coming out. Pugna can buy the Agnim Scepter. It looks uh, like he wants to save his money for non -stop now. Non-stop draining, yeah. Well, meanwhile, top lane. Oh, what? Well, going on a he's gonna he's gonna mission. He's gonna place a ward yeah. somewhere, yeah. Roshan is gonna be done by Mineski right now. Desolator on Jules. Damage. So much fun. He's gonna take these. Oh, here comes the Cogwork. I don't know about uh, that one. He backs uh, off. Immediate force up away. <laughs> He's like, hook in, force up out. Let's get out. Yeah, he's gonna go for a PKB next, so that the the disruptor can't glimpse him. He's he's been getting glimpsed by the disruptor all the time he hooks yeah. in. Well, sometimes it helps him. <laughs> if if yeah. the Mirana's there, yeah. it's gonna kill he, him. He helps him dodge the Mirana arrow. Yeah. <laughs> Neski now they they're down Rackets here, but they're still very, very close. I think it's still anybody's game at this point. Yeah. Mineski has the Aegis, but they lost one Rax. I the, like the BKB on the bear though. That item, really nice here. Yeah, it was actually Bulldog who started getting BKBs on yeah. your street there. Really early. Like, I used to see, like, Lone would maybe get a BKB like after their bear gets four or five items, but now yeah. it's getting, like, third item after the Assault Crest, BKB. And here comes Mineski. They're looking to pick off someone, anyone with this pick off with this smoke gank. Yeah. I don't think they mind too much. It looks uh, like it's actually quite obvious because there's no one pushing out the mid lane. Jim should know what's going on right now. They're putting wards on the high ground. Oh, no. This might be a bad yet. position for them to engage in. Arrow. Arrow. They may just go with the spirit bear. Oh, the bear. Where's, where's Bimbo with the lasso? Oh, here's Bimbo. Bimbo's coming in. Oh, it's going to look to lasso the Pagna again. The Pagna. He finds there him. comes the bad rider. Oh, he gets crossed by another Oh, he's now. got hex. Hex. Uh, the partner's go down. going down! Oh, the chain cross bouncing around! Maneski have killed two! They haven't lost anyone yet! They may lose them around. And Jules has got ages, so he's gonna respawn! And the bear taking so much damage! The oh, spirit bear's gone down. The Vino ulti actually dealt so much damage, but he Everyone wasn't able low. to kill anyone. They Maneski's didn't They didn't alive. even lose any heroes. And now they start healing, they've got urn charges. Arrow! 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 Oh. Fast fling from the crystal. Oh, Al Alacrity on the Mirana Look right now. Look at the damage with a Desolator. Rax is warm. Maneski bounced back. They may have lost mid They have to push top right now. Yeah, they can't go mid. The T2 tower's there. They're going for the top lane. They want more. They want a second to the Rax's dreams. In game two, if they lose this, Maneski will be your Philippines champions. Rax is being focused down. Here comes here. the Bat Rider. He has Lasso again. Lasso oh. is off cooldown. TP back now. Maneski have to defend. Can Dreams catch anyone out? It doesn't look like it. They've got a TP. Yeah, the Clockwork's not, if clockwork not, clockwork's alive, not out yet. That could have gone very differently. But Maneski have taken two sets of yeah. Raxes. They've lost one set in the middle lane though. So they're ahead, but it's by no means a convincing I, lead. You know, Gods, this would take an EG troll for Mineski to lose this game. Well. An EG level troll. We'll see if they've got it in them. <laughs> Mineski, definitely... They, no they have total player. control of this game right now. Well, they go safe. Mirana picks up a BKB now. No. And with that, killing this Mirana is going to become almost impossible. No, and no. As, it, it, even if you kill Mirana once, you buy back and TP in. This yeah, is a he, with an I'm, actually, I'm actually quite disappointed that he went for a BKB. Not manly item. No butterfly, no, no Daedalus. <laughs> I guess he doesn't want to throw the game. If Gosh. CM can farm a BKB, that'll help out Dreams a lot. That ultimate is really powerful. Yeah, the, however, the Chain Force will still be able to cancel his yeah. channeling freezing flow. If the Lich wants to. Vineski want to end this. They're just going down the mid lane, though. Dreams will have to defend this one, and this is not going to be easy. Yeah. They've only got one Hello. Spirit Bear for the time being. Here comes the Moonlight Shadow. Here comes the Moonlight Shadow. They're coming from behind. Oh, Bimbo's not here yet. 
Oh, he's, sentry. He's lagging behind. But Crystal Maiden plays a sentry at the last moment. Okay. Leap out from, from Jaws. He's playing this one safe. Down go the Necro books. Tier 2 tower will fall. Radiant's middle tower. Will Maneski continue? Oh, the bear! Uh oh. Uh oh. One bear down. One bear left. He's got to resummon it. Arrow. Oh. Uh, that was close. He needs a refresher. He refreshes once he killed again. <laughs> yeah, Demon would get a refresher up on the yeah. bear rider. Two lassos better than one. Well, Maneski is playing. Oh, here comes the crowd work! Oh, catches up many here with the hook hog, but they actually just leap out. Need to BKB on the Mirana. See, uh, Look at the damage. Nice decrep. They're going to lose yeah. the CM anyway. Oh, he, still he still died to the Thunder Strike. Yeah. They lose the bear. No bear in this fight. Dreams. How can they hold this? The Hex. The meatballs go flying. And Dreams now. They've lost CM. But more importantly, there's no bear. He's got the item himself. The bear has the items. The hero has the items. Radiance, Assault Breath, BKB, and Sanjan Yasha on the hero. Here oh. comes the Bat Rider. Lasso on the Pugna Lasso again. number two. Brings down the Pugna and Maneski are going to march here forward. Comes the, from here comes the Laundry. The Laundry. Oh, the Laundry. Buyback. Insta buyback. Oh, the Glimpse. Uh oh. Doc has nowhere to go. Nowhere to run and hide. He has got a buyback himself. He's going to be forced oh, to use it now. This is this is GG. Buyback from Invoker. Buyback from Marana and the Bat Rider. They're looking to end this game. Maneski getting close to a 2 0 victory. Laundry has got to go in. This well, is the last defense, gods. Oh, uh, the, the damage on the Mirana. And the bear goes down. Maneski, two minutes. Respawn, GG is called. Maneski have done it. 2 0 victory over Dreams. Uh, it was a really valiant fight from oh. Dreams. It was a really good game, very entertaining overall. Maneski are going to be your Philippines champions. They're going to be going to Singapore later this year for the ACG. And, well, Dreams put up a great fight here, but it's Maneski who come out on top. Give them a big round of applause. I, I think the MVP for this match is definitely the Bat Rider. Yeah. The Bat Rider is definitely the MVP. Oh, even in game one, Bimbo played amazing on the Nature's Prophet. He was a, both games he was a support. He was in the jungle, but he plays it like a carry. Yeah. The supports are the carry now, yeah. but... Yeah, what an amazing game here is that. We'll just wait for the last couple moments. The throne about to go down, but... Bimbo played great, but Maneski as a whole, like the whole team just really fit well together here. Yeah, and especially the, the speed pushing from them was much better this game. They, they weren't really getting yeah. caught up a lot like the first game. The first game they got caught up a lot when they were speed pushing, but this game they did speed pushing and they didn't get caught up. The Mirana was getting so much fun all over the map and it was just a well executed game. Well, by it's our hometown heroes, Jay, Oa, Joven, Jesse, Vash and Jules, who are your champions here. We're going to pass it over to our analyst desk here as that concludes game two. Maneski, your champions. Thank you, Gods and Winter. Uh, congratulations, AMD Mineski, for winning the GMPG LPH Grand Finals. Uh, ayan, may tatanong ko kay Ewe. Ano yung sa tingin mo, una-una pala lang mong nalamang na yung Mineski, pero nahihirapan pa rin silang taposin yung game. Ano sa tingin mo yung mangyari doon? Sa tingin ko yung early tsaka mid game, walang damage yung Mineski eh. Wala pang masyadong item si Mirana. Kaya... Naghintay, naghintay sila mag long game hanggat, hanggang magkaroon ng luck item si Jules. Tapos ang, ang ganda pa nangyari kay, you know, kay Bimbo. Kaya ayun. Uh, pero at one point, it's anybody's ball game pa rin, di ba? Yung medyo late game na. So, depende na lang kung sino yung ano. Tapos mas, mas minerte na lang yung Mineski. Uh, uh, ikaw, may ano mas sabi mo, attorney? Sa game na yun? Uh, hide, MVP talaga doon si Jay. Ang galing ng bat niya, early game. Alam naman natin kung mag ka, pwede ka naman manakawan ng XP doon. So yung Veno, ginugulo siya. Pero nung nakapatay siya sa baba, tapos nakanute siya sa Sentinel na Creeps, humaabol siya eh. Tapos nakikita natin, hirap na hirap siya sa mid game kasi 100 na lang yung range ng, ng oh. ano niya, diba? yung ultimate niya, diba? So minsan hindi mo makakuha. Pero ang, ang galing, kasi sa mga bandang mid game, taka huli, nakakuha niya yung mga essential na heroes eh. Pugna, yung bear, naka BKB, kaya doon sa lagas na nanalo. Good job to Jay talaga. Okay, once again, congratulations AMD Mineski, PH representatives. At ito naman, para sa courtside report, Miss Bianca Yao. Take it away. Check. 
Ako nga pala si Bianca Yao at syempre kasama ko si Mr. Trike. Ayun, pero sa mga wala pa siyang mic. Pero wala pa lang siyang mic. Ayun, so hello sa lahat na nanonood online at nandito sa venue. Kasama ko pala si Miss Bianca Yao. And we're here to interview Team Mineski after that game. Bianca, anong matatanong mo sa kanila? Grabe, muntikan na kayong matalo dun, no? Ano ba yung sa tingin yung naging turning point ng laban? Ah, uh, uh, yung time na nag-BKB yung bear, parang hindi na nasundan yung gamit niya. So kahit yun na lang yung ilaso ko, okay na. Go naman, Owa. Uh, Nangyari, uh, na nainip sila, parang nainip sila, kaya ayun. May nitaal na lang yung nangyari kanina eh. Kaya, nanalo kami. Okay na. Grabe, ang galing. Ang galing mo, Owa. Uh, ikaw, Jess, anong masasabi mo dun sa game na yun? Dumating sa point, parang talo na kayo dun ah. Naramdaman mo ba na may chance kayo matalo dun? Uh, meron, pero nakuha namin yung gusto namin na hindi sila makapag-push ng sobrang early. Napatagal namin ngayon ito, ate. Tapos nagamit namin ng maayos yung laso. Oh, yun. Yeah. Ano naman yung pakiramdam na kayo yung magre-representa ng Pilipinas sa Singapore, Jay? Uh, Siyempre, masaya. Parang sa lahat ng nagreklamo, ngayon proven na na kami yung magre-represent. Parang wala na yung pagiging bias. Oh, yun. Yun naman. Okay. So, ang tanong ko na lang siguro, um, any message sa kada isa sa inyo kung anong masasabi nyo sa lahat ng fans at saka sa mga tao na ano yung message sa kanila na kayo yung magre-represent sa Pilipinas? Hindi, lahat kayo isa-isa-isa. Isa-isa-isa. Uh, ano lang, practice. Tapos, basta yun, laro lang, enjoy lang. Grabe yung job, ang dami mo fans! Eh, wala na tuloy na sabi! sinabi ni Joven uh, na gagawin namin lahat para makuha yung makarating sa tuktok kasi wala po wala yung may <laughs> ikaw naman Jay okay okay uh, nasabi na nila lahat na masasabi ko eh Ayan. best so, wishes okay. and good luck sa inyo sana mag champion kayo thank you back to you hi thank you try and Miss Bianca and thank you rin AMD Mineski So, eto, tapos na yung GMPGL page grand finals natin. So, magpo-proceed na tayo sa GMPGL Southeast Asia grand finals. So, eto, game category natin. Ang first game, Dota 1. 